Hi people, it's Archivist here, coming at you with yet another Top 5. Today I will be going through the most interesting aspects surrounding Titanfall, a game coming to Xbox 360, Xbox One and PC next year. Number 5 One thing that really struck me was just how cinematic the multiplayer matches are. In too many games, the multiplayer can seem very detached, with no real motivation or explanation for what you are doing. You simply kill the enemy because that's how you rank up. However, in Titanfall, the developers have gone to great lengths to make the multiplayer matches feel that little bit more immersive. For example, at the beginning of a match, rather than waiting around in a lobby, you begin inside a dropship. As soon as other players have arrived, you and your team jump out and into the action. When you arrive on the battlefield, a commander will give you a quick briefing on your mission. Also, in the top right corner, you will be given constant updates by a scripted AI about what is going on in the battle. Sure, this isn't the first time this has been done, but never before has it been done in such a relevant or dynamic fashion. All of these aspects combined look to really add a level of immersion that is typically reserved for the single player experience. Number 4 Titanfall, like many of the other games I have covered, is a next-gen title, and this comes with certain benefits. First off, the experience overall will be larger. This means bigger maps and generally just more content. Probably the most appealing factor to many of us though are the graphics. I'll be honest, from what I've seen so far, they don't look like the best next-gen has to offer, but they are impressive nonetheless. Sadly, PS4 gamers won't get a chance to play this game. However, if you own a PC, Xbox One or Xbox 360, you're in luck. Although keep in mind, many of the benefits I have mentioned won't be coming to the 360. Number 3 Similar to Brink, the soldiers you control in Titanfall are impressively agile. They can sprint around and jump with a fair amount of speed, but it goes a lot further than that. In Titanfall, the pilots are given access to jetpacks, which allows for rooftop chases. You can even run along the side of walls, chaining jumps together to cover an impressive distance. Number 2 Building on the agility of the pilots, the developers have taken a great deal of time working on accommodating the maps to both the size of the titans and the capabilities of the infantry. You will find tall buildings that give the world a sense of verticality, giving it a multi-dimensional threat radar. Titans, for example, may be king at street level, but they are incredibly vulnerable if a pilot manages to land on their back. Also, the size of the maps is there to accommodate the sheer number of players. In the Xbox One and PC versions, you can have as many as 64 players per match, although I doubt this will be the same for the 360 version. It's number one. So, why is the game called Titanfall? Well, because one of the most alarming aspects about the game is the number of mechs, known as Titans, and the versatility of their arsenal. These aren't just a little gimmick like the Mantid was in Halo 4. These are some of the most detailed and unique mechs ever to grace gaming. Their movements are almost human-like, reminding me a bit of the mechs from Avatar. They even pick you up and sling you inside like a giant. Being so large, the weapons they are able to hold are gigantic, such as the machine guns that can shred enemy infantry. But the fun doesn't stop there. They even have certain unique powers such as the ability to stop bullets in their tracks. Despite their size, they are also relatively agile, capable of strafing back and forth while unleashing a barrage of ballistics. They even come with a follow mode, which allows them to remain operational even if their owner is not piloting them. I'm sure this will have its uses, but I don't doubt they are far more effective with a skilled pilot inside. However, these mighty mechs are not invincible. If you manage to get the drop on one, you can expose their weak point and do some serious damage. The Titans are the most advertised aspect about Titanfall, and I am beginning to see why. Clearly some serious fault has gone into both their design and abilities. Those were my top 5 reasons to be excited for Titanfall. What do you think about the game? Do the mechs look like an awesome addition or maybe just a little overpowered? Let me know in the comments below. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.